Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what I have here. I have a 1000 watt Besky Pure Sign inverter. So what does an inverter do? Well, an inverter does basically the opposite of what a transformer does, if you're familiar with transformers. What transformers do is they take the AC current or alternating current from your wall socket and converts it uh, to a direct DC current. So instead of it kind of alternating back and forth, kind of in a kind of sinusoidal wave, it'll just be a one directional current in one direction, so it won't be reversing. But now inverters do the opposite. So if you have a 12 volt battery, let's say from your car, and you wanna make AC current to power something like a drill, some equipment, even a computer, well, you need an inverter to convert that direct current from your battery, the 12 volt, uh, volt battery direct current, into a alternating AC current. And that is what an inverter does. Now this one happens to be a what's called a pure sign inverter. So it is a little more fancier than typical inverters. This one will uh, convert the direct DC current into a pure sinusoidal wave, uh, which is basically what your uh, outlet provides in AC current. It's, it's, it's just basically uh, an up and down wave as you see here. Now, uh, most, uh, most inverters do more of a kind of a box shape uh, convert, conversion, which generally works for most things, but for let's say uh, sensitive electronics, iPhones, computers, other types of sensitive equipment, you kind of want a pure sign inverter. So uh, the kind of squared off uh, a uh, typical AC current can damage some equipment, but not most. So pure sign inverters are quite a bit more expensive than standard inverters, and that's because it does do that pure sign uh, for sensitive equipment. Uh, what I recommend is if you are not running uh, sensitive equipment and don't need a pure sign inverter, just get a standard inverter. Uh, they're much cheaper and you can get much more wattage. This one's only a thousand watts. You can even go to a 500 watts or less for the pure sign uh, if you, uh, but. Uh, for higher power, let's say you want to uh, operate really heavy equipment or um, let's say a heater, uh, you can just get a standard uh, inverter with 3000 watts for about the same price as this 1000 watt unit. So uh, what I recommend is if you do need to run sensitive equipment, let's say a computer, uh, just get uh, take what you want in terms of wattage. Let's say you need 600 or 660 watts. Uh, and just add a third to that, and that will bring you to, let's say, 1,000 watts. If you need, let's say, 1,000 watts to run, add a third, so get a 1,500 uh, 1, uh, watt inverter. And so that's, I, I kind of like to add a third. Uh, they usually do have surge protection, so when you turn on your, uh, your, your unit, either a drill or a computer, it does make a surge initially and so you'll need more wattage and they usually do are built in with surge protection but it's kind of nice to add a third to uh, the wattage that you actually need so that's my recommendation but today we're going to uh, just show you how to hook this up to a standard 12 volt battery and so I do have a standard 12 volt battery right here. Uh, I don't think this one has a lot of amp hours, but it will do for this demonstration. I did put a couple of terminals on, I believe this is positive, this is negative. But um, if this is in a car, uh, you can just use those little clamps that you kind of use, let's say for jumping uh, your car, uh, but make sure that they're secure. I like to use these terminals because it really does secure the connections. So you don't get many sparks when you're running your unit. Uh, you can also, in your car, if you wanna hook this up, uh, you can actually even run your car to continually charge uh, your battery. Um, because this is out of the car, I will only have a certain amount of power before this drains. And fortunately, this inverter does have a digital display. It'll generally tell you uh, what you're generating, the input in terms of voltage, and the output in terms of wattage. And so uh, it's, it's helpful in that respect. 
And so how do you connect your inverter to your battery? Well, it's pretty simple. It's just plus to plus, minus to minus. And you have your plus terminal here in red, minus here. Now this is more of a portable unit right here. Some of them actually have, most of them actually have little screw holes where you can actually screw the unit into a car or a building or a platform. But this one I like to just carry around. So this might look a little different than yours just because you might have some screw holes. Basically what you need are some uh, nice high gauge wire to connect to your battery. And I recommend your unit should be off. So it it's definitely off. It's not powered, of course, no power in. And so I would connect your terminal or your wires or cables to your um, inverter first. So we'll just start with the positive end right here. And then your negative end. And then to connect the positive end to your positive side of your battery. So we'll just stick that there. Again, if you're just using those clamps, you could just connect it with those like battery cable clamps. And again, if you're connecting it to your car, you can, you don't have to disconnect anything in your car. You could just use those clamps for your car, but make sure your car is not running when you are actually making this connection. And then on the negative side, since the unit's off, I shouldn't get a spark, but you might get a little spark on the negative side when you connect this. And we did, but that's fine. We'll just tighten it down. Now, as you connect one to the other, you def definitely don't want to touch anything grounded. Uh, let's say you have a watch or something, you don't want to accidentally touch something uh, which is grounded. Also, you don't want to cross connect these terminals. Okay, so we have plus to plus, negative to negative, and so we could just go ahead and turn on our inverter. You can hear the fan uh, powering up and the display showing up. And it's showing, I'm not sure if you can see this, uh, it is giving me 12.5 volts from the battery and 115 volt uh, available once I plug it in. When I plug it in and start powering something up, you should see the wattage that it's generating here. Okay, I'm just gonna test it with this grill. Here's the uh, plug for the drill. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in to this the light on the drill thing lights up. And so I could just test out my drill here. And sure enough, it works. Now I do have a digital display, which will show wattage when I'm running the, um, the drill here. And so just keep your eye on this as I run this. You can see the wattage needed for the drill. And there you go. That is how you hook up a power inverter to a 12 volt battery. Now, if your battery is in your car, just make sure that you don't run it down to zero and you can't start your car. You may want to actually turn on your car so it will continually recharge your battery and you can run your uh, inverter at the same time. Now, if you're using a standalone battery here, uh, you will uh, have to recharge the battery uh, once it's dead. And so just get a uh, battery recharger. I just have a small little one here that will charge up this battery slowly, but you can get um, uh, chargers that will charge more rapidly than these brands, but this works fine for me. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.